Welcome back to my Project 13. Hope everybody's having a great holiday. A few more days till Christmas. It's coming. Sony Xperia XE Premium. Attached to the Fantasy windshield suction mount. Shooting this video 1080p 30 frames per second. Front facing cam, how does everything look? How does everything sound? I'm sure everything sounds good. The Sony just kicking some butt when it comes to being my daily driver in so many different ways, whether it's as a phone, um, making phone calls, getting phone calls, getting messages, sending messages out, when it comes to performance, battery life. <laughs> my media consumption with this device is just phenomenal with this 4K display. It's just amazing. And I'm, I'm not kidding you, man. It is amazing. It is a monster device when it comes to media consumption. Totally digging the front face and speakers. I love the look, the feel. Top quality device when it comes to the build. Sony did it right with the XZ Premium. The Sony Xperia XZ Premium. Looking forward to the next one. There's already rumors, but we're not going to get into that. I want to know in 2017 what you have been most impressed with when it comes to smartphones, whether you have it or you don't. And I'm talking about many different areas, whether it's the look of the device, whether it's the functionality of the device, performance of the device, the battery of the device, the sexiness, whether it's the price point, whether it's something like the iPhone 10 not looking like any other iPhone out there. Finally, Apple makes a change to their aesthetic look of their device. It had a facelift. Was that what you were most impressed with? Um, the fact that they finally made a change, even though there's a lot of different things to get used to on that device, it's still an Apple device. It's an iPhone. Um, again, the functionality is different. It looks different. It, it, it's, it's not what it used to be, you know. Uh, the home button is gone. It's facial recognition. Uh, is, is that something that you're really impressed with in the fact that Apple made these changes? Not so much maybe in what it looks like and how it's changed, but the fact that Apple finally did something different. You know what I'm saying? Or are you really impressed with the look? Are you impressed with the functionality of the new iPhone 10? So something like that, you know, for me, I, I, one of the areas that I've been most impressed with is price points dropping very quick this year, not just on devices from last year, previous years, but on new devices that have come out this year. A lot of devices that have come out this year started out at a certain price point, and then within three weeks, four weeks, they dropped. A lot of different devices went through this. And I was really impressed with that as far as um, what companies were doing to get you to lure you in to buy their device and throwing all these bundle deals together. There's been a lot of competition with different OEMs out there trying to get you to notice them and specifically outside of Samsung and Apple, a lot of other companies doing their best to get you to say, hey, look at me, I'm willing to drop the price now, I'm willing to throw this in now, don't go buy that device from that specific company. Look what we're doing. And of course, Samsung's still doing their thing. Apple, yeah, you know, kind of, depending on what you're getting and what you're you know, wanting from them, but um, and depending on who your carrier is and who you're buying it through. But I saw a lot of competition going on in price points, and I was really impressed with that this year, which the negative to that is resale value for a lot of devices. If you're keeping it for a little bit longer than you normally do, then you're gonna lose out because the companies are really competing in price points. And that's what I've been impressed with this year. Uh, you know, was it the almost bezel-less displays because a lot of companies are saying, hey, look at our bezel-less display. No, it's not bezel -less. If you have a nipple, it's not bezel-less. If you have a notch, it's not bezel-less. If you still have a little bit of bezel up top or bottom that houses a speaker or a fingerprint reader, it's not bezel-less. It's close, it's pretty darn close, but it's not bezel-less. But the displays, the 18 by 9 aspect ratio of a lot of these plays, beautiful, gorgeous, 
But for me, I'm still impressed with the fact like the Sony Xperia XE Premium still have that old school look. Thank you, Sony, for still keeping that around. And a lot of other, the HTC U11. You know, just to throw out another device. There's many other devices. But I, I love the fact that even though we have this new look and, and, and things are really going to change next year too as well, I'm still glad that we still have that old school look for people, consumers, customers like me, who love that look. So, um, what were you most impressed with? Are you, are you loving the fact that a device like the Razer phone has 120 hertz and it is just feathery, feathery, silky smooth? And this is something we're probably going to start seeing implemented on other devices going into 2018. Are you noticing that companies that come out with devices like the Essential that realize, hey man, it's not it's not a hit right off the bat because it wasn't marketed, it wasn't priced right. So what we're going to do is throw out a bunch of software updates. We're going to make this device killer. We're going to make it sweet. We're going to make it to where people want this device, and then we're going to lower the price point because we realize maybe we went about this the wrong, the wrong way. We're noticing companies listening to their consumers. Razer already throwing out a software update for its camera and plans like two or three more and a couple other software updates for the internal performance and other areas that they're already um, hearing about back from the consumer. So there's a lot of, of, of new companies coming out too that are wanting to please the customer, the consumer, and, and, and they're listening. That's something that I realized a little bit more was happening this year as well. So um, what, what, what have you been impressed with? What was it that you wanted that you just were like, wow, but you just couldn't get it? Um, what is it that you have that you're just like, it just blew you away? I mean, the 4K display on my Sony device just blows me away. It's not an OLED display. I wish it was, but I'll tell you, it's one of the best looking IPS LCD displays, 4K. When I'm watching movies, even up, against the Note 8. I've been sitting at home doing some tests with the Note 8 because it's got one of the best OLED displays out there. Okay, 2K display. And I'll tell you, the 4K up against the 2K looks beautiful. IPS up against OLED. Now check this out. As beautiful and as vivid and sharp as the Note 8 is, and, and, and it is one of the best displays out there. It doesn't have the depth to feel that the Sony Xperia XE Premium has. It just doesn't have it. Okay, it doesn't have it. It does to a point, but the Sony just kicks butt when it just you reach in. It's like a 3D effect that's just better than anything I've seen on a device. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. What have you been impressed with? What what has been the thing in 2018? Um, from an OEM that puts out smartphones or from a smartphone itself. What is it that you've been impressed with? Has it been price point? Has it been the look of the device? Has it been the performance, the battery? Has it been the speakers? Has it been the, the headphone jack is still there? And when you put on a headset, it's just like, wow, it blows you away. What is it? What kind of changes happened this year that you were impressed with that long-term you're seeing, you're seeing already in your mind wow we're heading for a really really special moment with what's going on here you know going back to the iphone 10 was that innovative was that innovative those changes it's not worth a thousand dollars for that device is it still surprising you that Companies are still attaching high price points to these devices when you know they're not worth it. You know what I'm saying? They're not worth it, but you're going out and buying it. Why? What is it that you're so impressed with that you got to go out and buy a thousand dollar device? To each their own, man. You got the money, you want it, you get it, enjoy it. It's all about you buying what you want in hand, no matter what anybody says, and you're going, woo, I dig it. I love it because this is what I'm impressed with and no matter what you say you're not gonna sway me from that so if that's how you see what you have then sweet at the end of the day no matter what I think as long as you're happy right 
What other areas am I missing that you can include into this video that you would say to me, this is what I was impressed with this year in 2017, going into 2018. What do you see from this year that's just going to have, that's going to um, help us visualize what's coming? The evolution of these devices, the progression, what kind of innovation? What are we visually seeing that we have right now? And we're going, man, the next generation of this is just going to be like, wow. Whether it's a fingerprint reader underneath a display. What are we going to lose physically, aesthetically on a device that they're going to implement on it in a different way than what we're used to seeing? That right now we're getting hints of that from the devices that have come out this year. And we're starting to visualize the future and where we're going with these devices. And, and the competition is growing. Huawei is really starting to break through here in America. And they're really setting the foundation for themselves here in the USA. They've already announced, man, they're going to be here. They're going to be here, man. They want to take Apple out. They want to take Samsung out. And they're, they're on a journey. They're on that road. There's a lot of companies that want to make their place here, not just internationally, but in the USA. And that's what I've been seeing this year, too. Are you impressed with that? What companies want to do, how they want to come in, how they want to start planting themselves here in the USA, not just internationally. What companies do you see coming up that could start to really get the attention of the average consumer and take their mind away from Samsung and Apple. HTC, man, they, they did it right this year. I've been impressed with that OEM. Man, I've been impressed with HTC. I've been impressed with LG. I see a lot of great things, but I see these other companies that they want us, they want to step in, man. Essential, Razor. Huawei's already up there. Woo! And other companies, man, it's going to start to happen. It's going to start to happen. You're going to see more and more. Eventually, there's, you're going to start seeing what us tech enthusiasts that really love our smartphones, it's not going to be about our group anymore. In the next few years, five, ten years, the average consumers are going to be walking around with all these devices, and it's going to be just a mix of everything. That's, that's what I'm visualizing. That's what I'm seeing. Anyway, I'm done. I got to go do some Christmas shopping. What has impressed you the most? I know I talked a lot. I rambled on. But let me know down below. Start a conversation. It's good to be talking to all of you. Happy holidays. And, uh, you know, Christmas is coming, man. Give. Give from here. Give from here. And if you have some of this, Give that too. Give from here. Tell somebody Merry Christmas. Tell somebody Happy Holidays. Tell somebody they're worth it, man. What were you most impressed with in 2017 when it comes to smartphones as a whole with everything that entails, all the areas that go into that? Let me know. I'm out. Peace. God bless. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Almost 5,000 subscribers. Under 200 subscribers to go. Please subscribe. Please share. Please donate if you can. 5,000 by the end of the year. Are we going to hit it? 5,000. Let's go for it, man. Peace. God bless.